Right, let's go, Chris. Your thoughts on the result? I think, um, you know, we're all disappointed because I, I believe and um, feel bad for the team because um, they did everything right. Uh, in the certain moments, you know, we lost the concentration here and there uh, with th those two mistakes, but I feel like, um, you know, we never have the problems with with any kind of, uh, you know, structure or, uh, or pressure or anything like that. It was just uh, a missing touch here and there in the final pass, you know, missing the... Uh, you know, the execution, but I think overall we play uh, uh, much better than in Portland. Uh, I think uh, we're going to stick to the plan, we're going to believe what, we, what we're doing as a team, and I think it was, um, you yeah, know, it was a pretty good game, except those two, two mistakes we made. What led to the decision to keep Danny out of the The structure, uh, you know, Danny still, you know, guys don't know, but he still have a shot in his knee. Uh, the, the doctors in the off season took a, uh, a pretty big chunk of meniscus. So, you know, when we started preseason, he didn't do anything until the first day. And then, you know, we went from uh, from zero to 100, you know, in pretty fast time. And, you know, we still uh, have a questions. Uh, as I said, before Portland, he got the shot in his knee. And, uh, you know, we've got to monitor the situation, making sure that, you know, it's not only he can, he's ready to play, but he's going to be uh, you know, uh, available for us and, you know, getting the performance like we all expect. So why was he on the 18 last year? Yeah, because you never know, you know, Chris was, was uh, uh, coming back as well over the last five weeks and uh, I think it was, uh, you know, uh, we just want to make sure that, you know, he's going to be, he's going to be available for us. How did you think Chris performed in? I think he did very well. You know, it's, uh, he got clipped at the at the at the, at the goal, and uh, you know, I just talked to him. I think uh, you know the first situation in the 15 seconds or 30 seconds, if Danny Walker runs, I think it's very clear. Then it's a foul, either it's outside of the box or not. The the man is the last man. It should be you know either the free kick or uh, the penalty or the red card. That's how it is. So we gotta make sure that you know. As I said, we stick to the plan and believe in what we're doing because overall I think we play a pretty good game. Peter, you seem to have quite a few guys that are versatile. Um, for instance, uh, you had uh, Gabriel Gomez playing as much um, on, on, on attack as defense. Are you, using a lot of, are you using a lot of these guys kind of as a hybrid to our push forward and to drop back? It seems like a lot of guys were uh, playing all over the, uh, the uh, pitch today. Is that how you're planning to do it? Or no, I think we, we try to push the, the line out, so, you know, a little higher. We, we change and operating on the both, uh, both, uh, both sides of the ball, uh, defensively and offensively, as I said. Uh, we, uh, uh, we find uh, during the week, we find a concept that it, it could work for us, and uh, I think, uh, you know, the personnel as well, especially for this game. And, uh, you know, uh, as I said, you've got to believe in what we're doing. The structure. I don't. I don't think there was any kind of problems. We we're very good on the both both sides of the ball. It's just unfortunate mistakes we made, and you know, unfortunate. Uh, you know, this way uh, this happened. Those two goals. Uh, as I said, I, I have a feeling during the whole 90 minutes, and then uh, the Colorado was never in play, and then all of a sudden we got those two goals. Uh, we need to do better. Yes, but uh, I think we need to put a little bit more energy into you know into the uh, and more pressure. Uh, when we're playing at home, I think uh, you know we drop too many, too many guys in the midfield, and uh, we're shrinking the field. Uh, also, uh, we shrink the field to uh, you know a little bit too close. I think we need to open the wings a little bit more, and uh, you know use it for uh, for Leo because he's very dangerous, as he shows uh, in the game that he can he can put these things away if, if he has a service. So uh, we need to do better on this. But overall, I don't think we, we have a problems with the structure and the, and the play as well. Do you get the sense that he's going to beat himself up over some of the uh, mistakes? I don't think so. He's a tough kid. It's not, nothing going to happen, nothing going to affect him. Uh, on the second goal, did, did Chris kind of misjudge maybe how quick Cassio was? It looked like it looks had... like, but I just talked to him, you know, as I said before. He got clipped and then, uh, you know, the Carlos tried to manage both guys running forward. So, 
he moved inside and moved outside and, and tried to prevent it. So, you know, as I said, I don't think the guy is just uh, was looking for a you know corner this way or another. He just closed his eyes and took a shot and went over the you know next to the bar. So it's um, you know as I said that those those mistakes we still need to to uh, clean up and then make sure that we're gonna stay uh, you know regardless of the results we're gonna stay uh, together. As I said uh, in Portland, we cannot put ourselves in the situation that you know we're making one mistake and then uh, we're not giving ourselves. Uh, chance to, 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 to tie the game and then win the game. So, uh, as I said, uh, those those things can happen. And, uh, what, uh, what do you think of the cohesion with Milonga and Pahoy, and is that something we're going to see more of in the future? Those are our, those are our two best strikers, and we're going to play. Uh, I think the combination in the first half, especially, was was very good. Uh, they, you know, more they play together, they will more understand each other. As I said, those those things will not change. It looked like Danny in the second half wasn't as active. Do you, do you feel that way? Not really. I, I think, you know, because we didn't stretch the field wide, uh, we didn't create any kind of channels that he runs in the first half. I think that's that's the part that we uh, we need to recognize and you know, go and talk uh, about it and then make sure that we will stretch the field. We need to play faster, you know. it's. Uh, uh, we still have, you know, uh, some of these guys you know, coming in, and then now uh, they have six, seven touches on the ball. We gotta spread the ball. We gotta spread the teams, and make sure that we, we have a, you know, double wings. We can, we can put the ball and inside, and we stretch the, f the field like we did by the scoring the goal. I think that's the, you know, that's a concept that we will continue to work on. Can you know, have a question? When you have changes and you're doing so, how do you make sure that this doesn't start snowballing and these guys go? As I said to all of you, stability is the one key word to all this stuff. And you know, being young as we are, and I think uh, you know, the guys need to know where they stand. They need to know what's the what's going to happen next week. I think the stability is uh, you know the key to everything we're doing and believing in the the way we're playing. Right. Okay, thank you.